Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. Some students get confused regarding how to prepare for your NSEM exam or final exam, when to start preparation and which books we need to refer for final exam. There are lots of questions about it, right? So in today's session, I am going to present some important tips regarding how to prepare for your NSEM exam or final exam. There are some simple strategy. You must follow this strategy while preparing your exam. Let's start the session. In this channel, you will get a complete point wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. You can refer this question bank while preparing your NSEM exam. Please like and share these videos with your friends that will be helpful for everyone and subscribe the channel so you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming videos. Next. Now the first thing is some information about NSEM exam. Your NSEM paper is 70 marks, total 70 marks. Now time duration is 230 hours for exam. In NSEM exam there are total theory and numerical questions as per your subject. There are no MCQ questions will present. There are total 8 questions in your paper including optional questions. Now passing criteria. There are total 2 passing criteria. Your paper is total, subject is total 100 marks, right? 30 marks for NSEM exam and 70 marks for NSEM exam. So out of 100, 40 marks is necessary. And your NSEM paper is 70 marks. So out of 70, 28 marks is compulsory. Let's take some cases. See here. Suppose in first case, you got in your NSEM exam 0 marks out of 30. Then you need to score 40 marks out of 70 in your NSEM exam. Means your total score is 40 out of 100, you will pass. Now second case is, suppose in your NSEM exam you got 18 marks out of 30. Then you need to score 28 marks out of 70 compulsorily. Your total score is 46 out of 100. Means there are total 2 passing criteria, 40 out of 100 and 28 out of 70. Now third case, suppose in your NSEM exam you got 30 out of 30 marks. Still, you need to score 28 marks out of 70 in your NSEM exam. Means your total score is 58 out of 100. So, refer those passing criteria, 40 out of 100 and 28 out of 70. Prepare accordingly. Clear? Next. See, preparation is a key to success. I am suggesting you, you should start the preparation of your NSEM exam just one month before your exam or minimum 15 to 20 days before your exam. Plan your schedule, prepare for the exam and perform well in your exam. This is a strategy. Plan, prepare and perform. Clear? So how to plan? See next. This, this is the NSEM exam unit wise time and marking scheme. See, uh, there are total 5 subjects in your syllabus, right? And in that 5 subject, there are total 6 units in one subject. Clear? So, uh, some university having total 6 units uh, in your NSEM exam and some university having total 4 units in your NSEM exam. In Pune University, you have total 4 units like unit 3, unit 4, unit 5 and unit 6 in your NSEM exam or final exam. So, every unit you need to have 70 to 18 marks question in your final exam. For example, 17 to 18 marks on unit 3, 17 to 18 marks on unit 4 and 17 to 18 marks on unit 5 and unit 6 accordingly. So, you need to prepare as per the marks or all the important topics in that particular unit. Now next thing is preparation time. Suppose you need to prepare all the concepts, all the points in detail. So at that time you need to require 6 hours for one unit. Okay. But if you prepare smartly, at that time you need to require 3 to 4 hours for each unit. So how to prepare smartly, I will tell you next. Next thing is I am suggesting you, you should start the preparation at least 15 to 20 days before your exam dedicately or one month before your exam. Now next thing is paper pattern. See there are total 8 questions present in your paper in Pune University exams. So question number 1 or question number 2, question number 3 or question number 4 in this way. 
generally question number 1 and 2 based on unit 3 question number 3 and 4 based on unit 4 question number 5 and 6 based on unit 5 and question number 7 or question number 8 based on unit 6 so i am suggesting you don't skip any unit you should prepare all the units in particular subject at least you should prepare important points, important topics in that particular unit. But don't skip any unit. Clear? Now next thing is marks pattern. See, there are 4 marks, 6 marks, 8 marks, 10 marks, this type of marks questions available. For that purpose, you need to download previous year question paper and refer those question paper. Which questions asked for 8 marks and which questions asked for 10 or 6 marks in this way. Right? Now, the next thing is, suppose in your paper, question number 1 having question number 1, 3 questions like A, B and C. Or question number 2 also having 3 questions A, B and C. So, at that time, you need to solve either complete question number 1 or complete question number 2 in this way. Clear? So, this is a paper pattern and this is a marks. So, don't skip any unit. Try to prepare important topics in that particular unit. Clear? next now the next and important thing is keep the necessary study material ready you need to collect all the study material 15 to 20 days before your exam or one month before your exam as per your schedule now first thing is getting a complete syllabus you need you have a complete syllabus of particular subject second thing is download previous year question paper i am suggesting you the first and important and highest priority is previous year question paper. See, I think you have a 2019 pattern uh, paper, right? But previous having 2015 pattern, 2012 pattern question paper. So you can refer those question paper also. For example, you have a data structure subject. The syllabus of data structure subject is same in 2019 pattern or in 2015 pattern or in 2012 pattern so i am suggesting you refer previous five year question paper only for your end same exam paper suppose your highest priority is previous five year question paper then you will get 50 plus marks in your end same exam so this is the highest priority clear now second some question banks you should refer some question banks given by your faculties. Okay. I have uploaded some question bank video like HCI, machine learning, then data structure, DBMS, then uh, software engineering. So these all subjects uh, question bank I have uploaded on my channel. You can refer that question bank also for your end same exam paper. Right. Now, after getting previous year question papers, the first thing is you need to refer those question paper or uh, which questions most probably asked. Okay, you should find out those question. question. Second thing is you need to find out answer of those questions. Okay, this is the highest priority. So, where to find out the answer? Now, in books, there are total two types of book. Either reference books or local author books. So, I am suggesting you, if you want to study a particular subject in detailed way, in a complete point, complete concept, then you can refer reference book, okay? But you need to refer all the previous year question papers and their points and the, all the important points. At that time, you can refer local author books, okay? So there are Technio, Technology, this kind of publication books also available. In that particular book, question number and uh, the particular question asked in which exam like 2017 for 6 marks 2018 for 8 marks in this way this all details given in local author books okay so you can prepare as that way so this is a smart preparation right uh, don't study each and every points in your syllabus study only important points or previous year question paper points only right next thing is notes so you can refer the notes given by your teachers or seniors but i am suggesting you you can download previous year question papers find out answers of those questions in reference books or local author books and make your own notes okay make your own points own notes uh, as per your understanding so i am suggesting this thing because your own notes or self notes 
that will be more important in your NSEM exam, right? Now, next thing is YouTube videos. See, there are lots of YouTube videos available on different subject. For example, data structure subject. I am suggesting you, you can refer YouTube videos for revision purpose or understanding the concept purpose, not a complete study purpose. Okay, for complete study purpose, you need to refer a books and their answers, right? For example, data structure subject and you need to watch a video of linear search algorithm. So watch a video on particular channel and if you, if you like that video, if that video is easy for understanding, so save that video in your own playlist. In YouTube, there are new playlists. This option is available. So you can create your own playlist. For example, data structure playlist and under the data structure playlist, you can refer different videos on different channel. So save that video in only one playlist in your own mobile. Okay. So that will be helpful for your revision purpose or one day before your exam purpose. Right. See, suppose your concept will get clear, then it's very easy to uh, write in your exam. Right. So you must follow this strategy. So first thing is gather the syllabus. Second thing is download previous year question papers that will be available on university website or from your seniors. Okay. Now, after downloading previous year question paper, find out answers of those questions in books, either in reference books or local author books. Next thing is you can also refer the notes, uh, your self notes or notes given by the teachers and make own playlist of YouTube videos from different channels. Clear. So the priority is previous year question paper as per my opinion. Clear? Next. Now next thing is you download your complete syllabus. You have all the previous year question papers, at least five year question papers. Okay. And their answers. So after getting all these things, you need to generate a study analysis table. See, this study analysis table is very much important for your end same exam purpose. See, just create a one rough table as per your understanding. First mention the subject name, your all the five subject name and their difficulty level. For example, subject one is M3 and uh, as per your understanding, M3 is difficult. So mention the difficult there. Okay. Next thing is subject two is for example, data structure. So data structure is easy one. So mention the easy in this way. So as per your understanding, you should mention five subject name and their difficulty level, either easy, moderate or difficult. Clear? So this will give you a proper understanding when to start preparation. Okay. So I am suggesting you always start a preparation from easiest subject. If you start from the easiest subject that you will get a confidence about your exam paper, right? This is the first way. Now, second way is you can start the preparation with both subject one easy subject and one difficult subject. Okay. Means first prepare easy subject unit one, then prepare difficult subject unit one in this way. Suppose you prepare all the difficult subject regularly. So you will get a frustration, right? So I'm suggesting you two ways. First way, start from easiest subject and second way, start two subject simultaneously. One easy and one difficult. So they balance everything. Right now, next thing is mention in your table how much units you have completed as per previous year question papers. Okay. And units pending. So this will give you a clear idea how much time you need to required for preparation. Right. So they didn't get any confusion regarding this. And at the end, unit wise revision time required. For example, subject one, unit one required one hour for revision purpose day before your exam. Okay. Unit two required just half hour for revision. So as per your understanding, you mention here revision time. So you should keep those revision time separately because revision is much necessary in your exam. So I'm suggesting you the 15 to 20 days before your exam or one month before your exam, you should start the preparation. You should start the completing unit, all the important points, previous year question papers of particular subject and start preparation accordingly. And day before your exam, just get the revision. 
because there is only one day holiday before your exam right so one day just get a revision of all the important topics and important question don't learn any new concept new question at that time okay so this is a study analysis table so please make this particular table that will get a clear idea regarding your study analysis clear next the next thing is decision matrix see how to start study how to prepare for exam this all questions answer is here see here the first this is a matrix okay the first thing is all the urgent and all the important thing for example as per my opinion previous year question paper that has the highest priority okay so that uh, will be urgent and important so do it now this is your first priority clear now second thing is not urgent but important for example uh, there are some uh, important points in your syllabus that was not asked previously in any exam but uh, you have some idea about it okay so that particular topics that is not urgent but important then schedule your time in on which time you need to prepare those points okay the third thing is urgent but not important so this thing is means uh, for example suppose you have any assignments or you have any other personal work or your own home related work so try to substitute yourself or try to avoid it okay so this is urgent but not important so i am suggesting you just avoid it if it's not necessary clear now next thing is not urgent and not important so this is all social medias for example instagram facebook then uh, then all the games in your mobile this is not urgent this is not important so try to delete it or try to eliminate it just one month before your exam or 15 to 20 days before your exam clear don't give so much time for that particular thing so as per this matrix try to learn or try to prepare for your exam clear next now the next thing is importance of notes see quality of notes that make your preparation time will play important role okay that avoid backlogs also in engineering so there are total three ways theory subject numerical subject or diagrams related questions right suppose there are theory related questions in your previous year question paper there are some theory related questions so i am suggesting you find out all the answers in your book the first thing is highlight or underline important topics of that particular answers in your book or if you not uh, highlight those thing in your book the second thing is write down all the important words of that particular topic for example in machine learning the question is explain types of learning so the first type of learning is supervised learning mention the important topics or important points under that question answer okay in this way you need to prepare theory questions okay the second question is numerical questions so for numerical questions you need to practice different types of questions not a single type of questions so all the practice all the previous year question papers and the numericals asked in that particular papers generally those type of numericals will be asked in your end sem exam papers so practice it next thing is diagram i am suggesting you don't skip any diagram there are structure diagram architecture diagram present in your uh, subject right so draw it practice it practice all the components present in the particular diagram and don't skip diagram question in your exam that will give you extra marks in your exam right for example uh, suppose in your exam they will ask types of machine learning just example so you need to draw the diagram here just give the type under that type you need to mention supervised unsupervised reinforcement learning so draw the diagram of this uh, particular question also okay so don't skip the diagram it will give you extra marks then draw it and practice it clear so prepare accordingly next next after getting complete preparation how to write paper for scoring good marks so on that particular topic i have already uploaded the video previously 
in that particular video i have explained with demo and examples means which types of question generally asked in exam and how to write answers of those questions so please watch those video i have attached link of that video in below description box you need to must watch this video how to write paper for scoring good marks okay next so all the best keep learning thank you